<laughs> Boom! <laughs> Welcome back, back again to another episode of Stoppage Time TV. You're back with myself, Fuad. I'm your host this week. Mm. Back with my brother, Culture Cams, as per usual. You saying, bro, you good? Come on, man. Out here, man. And listen, we had to get a special guest. It's only right. Mm. My brother, busiest man on YouTube, mm. Chelsea super fan, <laughs> Matisse. Yeah, oh, man. I'm good. What feeling, you saying, you good? Feeling like Jao Felix, I was saying, just before we start rolling the cameras, do you know what I mean? Don't get a red card, though. OGs are going to know, do you know what I mean? OGs are going to know. We're getting live and direct hey. to the flesh. You know, you're going to know what I mean. Nah, listen, listen. This one might not be as long as your normal episode, but obviously we've had a few technical difficulties at the studio. But we appreciate you guys being here anyway. Got a lot to get through this week as yeah. well. But of course, it's only customary at Stoppage Time TV. We only start with Hold Tight. Just free. <laughs> Listen, up and down the country, it ain't easy. You know what I'm saying? Home and away, wherever you are, hold tight yourself. And of course, hold tight the participants. Because it takes two to tango, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, need, you, need, you need a dance partner. So those of you that took the L this week... We're back again next week. Mm. Um, but yeah, listen, got a lot to get into. Transfer window, Chelsea talk, Arsenal lost, Liverpool lost. Mm. But big game just finished now. Spurs won, mm. Man City nil. This leaves, I think, Man City, how many points off Arsenal now? Uh, still five points. Still five mm. points but off. Arsenal game in Arsenal hand, game in hand exactly. as well. Mm -hmm. yep. And I think now it's Spurs... It's a blank week, basically, for both. Pretty much, nothing's yeah. yeah. Nothing's yeah. Except, I mean, for Spurs, it's for our top four hopes, it's probably yeah. a little bit better. Yeah. But yeah. We, We've gained some points as well for our top four hopes, too. Yeah, I'm saying, we're, keep it, <laughs> we're keeping it at top four, yeah? Nah, top we're keeping four it. Hey, listen, don't, don't let any of, your, any of your brothers out here testing the waters again. Because I know you've been there. Hey, don't worry I about that. I know you've been behaving with your one game that's at a time. That's what I'm time, saying. That's what it is now. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Listen, it's minor. You know Just saying, back to listen, square one. But listen, um, funny game though, man. Funny mm. game because obviously going into it, it's a game that, for me, to be fair, it was a win-win regardless. Mm. Whether mm. we won or whether we <laughs> lost. <laughs> I know it sounds shit to say. <laughs> can't lose. Nah, can't yes. lose. This is like, I can't lose. I can't lose in these shoes. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. We lose. Oh, Arsenal we win. The title. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind that. We win. <laughs> Listen, I don't mind dunking on Pep's head any time as well. And I think now it's since we moved into this new stadium, City are yet to even score at yep. this new stadium. So yep. people have always said we're a bogey team, but today I really felt like we didn't just look like a bogey team that just kind of played on the counter. We actually went toe to toe with them. I felt mm -hmm. like for a lot of the game and credit to Stellini, who obviously this week I think Conte's obviously had his operation of his gallbladder. Obviously. Go Best well wishes soon. out to him and get yep. well soon. But I thought whether that was Conte's plan or Stellini's plan, whatever plan that was, was perfectly executed by them players there. I thought... Emerson <sighs> Royale. Bro, mm. you, 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 you can tell by my face. Proper 12. Mm. Proper, 12. Like, proper 12. Proper 12. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Shout out to Conor McGregor. Relax, mate. please. <laughs> proper. That, that brother plays like he's drinking proper 12. <laughs> 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 Kill me, please. But listen, I've got to give him his juice, man. As much as I come on here week after week saying, get him out of my club. Mm. He's not good enough to be here. Today, he almost set the standard and set the tone for how you are meant to play against City. Mm. Hard-nosed, up in their face. Yep. Don't let them breathe again and again and again. Because City, they have that quality to keep coming again. They, we went 2-0 up against them last time mm. at half-time. Within, within 20 minutes, it was 4-2. Do you know what I mean? How, so. mu how much did he invest in himself? <laughs> mm. listen, he thinks he's LeBron. He thinks listen, LeBron. listen, 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 listen. You got to invest I, I, in yourself. You had six months where you fooled the world into thinking you invested a million or whatever it was. And, yeah. and you look like a fish out of water. You, I'm, I'm you ever done crypto before? You see that? You see that performance? I'm not even giving Emerson this the credit. This return. I'm not giving Emerson the this credit. This return. I refuse to give <laughs> Who's Emerson. Giving him the credit. I'm giving Pedro Porro the credit. Oh, here we go. <laughs> That's new <laughs> signing <laughs> impact oh, right yeah. there already. Because yeah. you know, you know when man see the new boy, mm. fear strikes bro, into that their hearts. That's that Luke Shaw behavior, bro. <laughs> you know that's that Luke Shaw when Taylor's come true, yeah. all of a sudden rise yeah. up. Yeah. That's it come true. Right. Yeah. He saw Porro come through. Said, "Huh? Oh, amigo. Yeah, yeah. I see you, bro." <laughs> Trust me. So fair play to him. I thought he really set the tone. Harry Kane as well. Listen, mm. two hundred, <laughs> two hundred. Two, can we just say What's two? That? They're calling him Prince Harry, bro. We, wait, do, wait, we, wait, we sit wait, here wait. and celebrate. We're not taking it in again. Two hundred Premier, Premier League goals. Yes, they call this the hardest league in the world. Mm. Brother. Two, oh, he scored 200 of them in this league. Even last year, he took a, a half the year off. Exactly. Uh, he's still he's 29. Yeah. Rooney has 208. 
He can get that this season if he wants. <laughs> Shiro has 260. He will get that in three seasons, max, probably. Hey. Bro, the guy has 17 league goals this season. I Norman, don't see bro. how at this stage, at this point, of course, yeah, no trophies, zero trophies, didn't do well in the cup for, in certain situations. But, bro, you can't score 200 league goals and be a bad player, bro. And I saw him on the pitch of Erlen Haaland today, and I know what striker I would rather. It's, it's Harry Kane. He's got the all-round package. He scores goals. He can contribute in other ways as well. And I just think he's just genuinely more of a handful, despite Haaland probably being a few inches taller, faster, yep. all of these type of things. I would... By the way, we know who the better is, footballer is. is. By it's, the way, it's so hard to play against. Zero, zero touches for Haaland in the box for the whole 90 minutes. And can today. I ask as well, who's playing in the more attacking, ball-dominant, more chances-creating team? Because you know, you know, Harry Kane's been suffering with, you know, Nuno, and he's had Jose. even Mourinho and Conte. Conte. And he's still putting and he's, and he's still putting up these numbers. So can you imagine if he was in that City team getting all those chances? God forbid, remember, Liverpool team. Do you remember Paul Merson? Do you remember when Paul Merson said he wouldn't score in Jose's teams and then yeah, he went and the records? He, literally. And you look at what um, he's doing. Like Harlan had only a few touches in the box, but Kane showed two sides of his game today because, as I said, he showed the side where he gets on the ball, he can... Um, Create. Ping it out, or yeah. he can get involved in that way. Flick ons as well. By the way, like when the ball's actually in the air, flick ons, he's better than Harland Herl as well. Yeah. So, and then he showed, oh, I'm not going to have that many touches in the box today. All right, cool, bang it. I'll just bang it in my, my second touch in the box. My yeah. second touch in the match, <laughs> he put it in the Polton. back of the net. Mm. So he showed two sides of his game, whereas Harland, all right, cool, Harland might get you those moments where he's only had eight touches today and score. But games like this is like when you start looking, what else can you offer? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Can you even, are you even going to potentially come in and let your winger pop a one-two off you and get their shot off or yeah. Yeah. he's non-existent? You know what I mean? So yeah. Listen, when you say Tottenham's all-time record goal scorer now as well, there's nothing left mm. for him at this club, I feel like at this point. Apart from obviously the obvious winning a bit of silverware would be nice. Mm. Be cool. But the all-time highest scorer, and I've said like, previously where I think Kane is probably the best academy graduate they've ever produced and mm, they will never ever produce another one like that so listen. do you think he's the best academy graduate for a, a set team a single team yeah in the Premier League I don't know. I'll be honest with you because I always look at John Terry. Yeah, I was just about to say. John Terry let's be, for me let's be is careful. Always, <laughs> I look at longevity. <laughs> I look at well. consistency. Yeah. I look at, but even I'd say John Terry's consistent quality mm, yeah. would was probably more longer impactfully than Giggsy, in my opinion. Yeah. I know it's, I it's a tough no, one. Giggs is a legend. I'm you not even disputing that. But Terry, even at 35, when yeah, I see him play, every Terry single minute 18? in that Jose yeah. team, with yeah. them yellow boots, mm, yeah. playing left foot diagonals. Mm. I was like, left foot diagonals. Hey, the truth. How many yeah. goals did he I score like, in the Premier League? Yeah. Right, so where would you put? Where would you? It's a interesting. Top three. A little bit of a top sub three. question. Yeah. But where would you put him? You put him top three. Top three for sure. Alongside who though? John Terry, Kane, and who? Giggs, Paul Scholes. Mm. I'm leaning to Scholes, possibly. Mm. Giggs might have Bro, to Giggs drop a little Giggs. four. <laughs> you were like, I, I, was like, yo, I was there when Giggs was playing, so don't tell me Bro, I went there. Giggs was made his debut at 17 Giggs. and then ended at 13. He did. Lord Kevin, he was nuts. At 39. He, bro, the guy Unbelievable. Went, the guy won 13 Premier League even, titles. Even, <laughs> on his, even on his <laughs> last legs. The even on his last legs. You know, <laughs> oh, what was 13. your impact in him 13? Even in his last legs. Did he not put the penalty in as well on his last legs? Like score that penalty yeah, to the side. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah. In, in, in in Moscow. Do you know what it is? I, I can't I can't forgive that fraud PFA player in the year in all no, I can't. I can't forgive that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gassed up the leg. He, he, he would want them people to get one assist. Ah, <laughs> uh, go on next yeah. year. Come next year. <laughs> that season, I think he got like three assists. No, Chad Henry sure got assist every year. He started that record sixteen going. games that <laughs> season. Yeah, I do agree. One of the best academy talents ever produced, in my opinion. I don't know where, but an interesting question. Let us know in the comments. Actually, your top three. Academy graduates at a single club, if you like, mm -hmm. that, for what think, they did for the club, for not that like, club, yeah, oh, not that Rooney hopscotch. graduated at Everton, Everton. but yeah, yeah. now nah, I'm talking no about hopscotch. what they did for yeah. the club. That's, yeah. that's nah, listen, one. best there is, best there was, best there ever will be at Spurs, in my opinion. Mm. And listen, will you let him leave in the summer? Let the shackles off. I, I, I've free said, him. I've said here, free him. I said here, for, for, for the good of the country. We both tapping. <laughs> Look at this tapping up. Is it literal tapping? No, listen. I said about two, three weeks ago, though, like. Unless there's a project now that we can put together in the next, which in my eyes, he was don't do Conte. projects. He needs short term right now. Well, really, uh, win but, now. But Conte was that right now. Short term project. Get a manager who wins now. I can believe in this manager. Okay, cool. You can bring some quality in. Let's win now. If Conte leaves, I don't know what you can pitch to Kane to sign a new deal. What? Oh, Son's still here. Yeah, yeah. We can mm. run that back. 
bro, you've got the goal scoring record. You've been here for since the start of your career, pretty yep. much. Dave, how many years have you been surrounded by bad teams, bad management, bad recruitment? Go on. I've said what you mm. said there. Two hundred Premier League goals or one of the greatest players. Could will probably end up England's highest goal scorer, Premier League highest goal mm -hmm. scorer. And then you're going to tell me all of those individual accolades there, but he has no Nothing. team accolades to show mm. for it. That's for crazy. me, I think that's a shame. I would that love it yeah. if he won something here. FA but Cup I this can't season. see it realistically. I look at our project and I'm like, what is it? Yeah. I can see there's a few talented players there, but. Is there an actual plan there for the next year? Is he going to submit another dissertation? Is he going to no, submit another got, letter? He's, uh, he's only got 18 months left on his contract. We're coming, so man. in my he eyes, we're watching him very summer, closely. Oh, this, oh, summer, of course. this summer, I reckon he will go in and say, I need to leave. Let me go get some money for me. More than likely, Levy will say, no, mm. you can leave on a free. And he will be held against his will. More than likely what will happen. Mm. But I honestly... The essay's due. I wish him all the best in my eyes. He's so done do what I. he needed to do here. Because they always said to Rashford, put the essays away, you're doing too much work. Mm. Kane's Kane, essay is due and it's coming up know, to midnight. Listen, like, mm. let's get it submitted. <laughs> let's get it submitted, Kane. <laughs> Kane let's can get, get his submitted. essays out, man. He's, he's putting the work, do you know what I mean? But listen, that is, I feel like we have to touch on City a little mm. bit as well, though, because as well as good as we were, as good as Emerson, Kane were, I felt like on the other side, City were like a mile off it yeah. as well. I feel like Pep in these types of games where... He comes up against these bogey teams. Two shorts, Chelsea, I feel like Spurs. Mm. Um, you mentioned someone as well. Oli, Oli's, yeah. Oli's um, United. He always seems to overthink it, over um, experiment, I feel like. But what do you think is the actual problem in these types of games and why Pep seems to overthink it? Because today, when you see like Rico Lewis mm. having the most touches on the ball in mm. a right defensive mid, yeah. Julian Alvarez half space on the left yeah do what you like but none of these things are really producing yeah and you can't see what is trying to do mm -hmm. what do you think pep is trying i don't i don't know i think he's at that stage where he just at like let me just try and get a spark out of something so in a way you can admire it because he's trying to do something different when you look at Klopp, who's doing nothing in a way different mm -hmm. but at the same time the players don't look like they're reacting to what Klopp is I mean, sorry, um, what Pep is trying to put out there. Yeah. Like this back three thing that they got going on, both wingers have absolutely no support. And both of them, as soon as every game goes wrong for Man C, the reason is because we lost Sane and Sterling, every single one of them. But Sterling and Sane had flying fullbacks with them, guys who are there to support all the time. Mares right now is playing with Rico Lewis playing in defensive midfield. Grealish right now is playing with Nathan Ake playing at left centre back, basically. <laughs> Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So where's the support for them? This it's, it's kind of confusing, in my opinion, of what's going on. And I look at it today. Rico Lewis had so much of the ball. Bernardo was just floating around. I don't know what he was he was necessarily doing. Alvarez, as you mentioned, I can't even tell you where he was playing today. Yeah. Alvarez was just somewhere. Mar I was confused, bro. I don't know who was it playing where. Like <laughs> Pro Evolution formation. All I knew yeah. is Jack Grealish was playing wide left. And Rodri's in, in the midfield. The rest were just the like... The rest was just scrambled. Yeah, it was just yeah. scrambled. And it's Part like... Just chilling at the yeah, top of it. Yeah, before it used to be like... Oh, Pep is a little bit of a jinkers. Oh, that, who's that inverted fullback? Oh, you've yeah. overcrowded the midfield. And now we see what you're saying. Now it's just looking like it's gone too far. Everyone is now trying to do the inverted fullback. And it, well, we're just looking it like, well, where's Waldo? Everyone's yeah. doing it now. And now it's looking like he's trying to find another way to crack the code of football. Yeah. And it's like, I'm going to do this back three. Now I'm going to six midfielders. It's like, I don't know what it really is. So at the moment, I just think Man City are not reacting to what he's putting out there. And look, people are going to say, look, they're only five points off. All right, Arsenal have a game in hand. It could be eight points, but we said it all season. This just isn't Man City. And you look at the game that you lot just had, bro. You, it was it was comfortable in my opinion. I was watching. If I was a Spurs fan after this, after Morris hit the bar with that chance in the first half, from there I'm I'm comfortable, man. They're not they're, back back in the day, City when they're on you, it's relentless, bro. You're sweating for 15, 20 minutes. Now yeah. it's like. Yeah, it's a chill. Oh yeah, Rico Lewis, you're in the game, and everyone's gonna say, "Oh, rising baller, you're sick." <laughs> no, <Nah, yeah, laughs> nah, you're, right. you know you're actually right. Like today, I think after about the 60, 70 <coughs> minute mark, even mm. when KDB came on, I was like, "City don't look like they've got another gear in them." Mm. And, I, and I tweeted out in the first half, like, I think they're maybe in second gear, kind of just stalling a little bit because we saw two weeks ago that we went two 0 up half time. They can just. But at some point, switch. when do we say it's not second gear though? Like. 
What would you say? Like at some point, because you're saying <laughs> second game, I get they clicked on you lot, but you lot weren't good in that game at all. At some point, with all the evidence that we've had of City's games this season, even the Villa game, Palace, Brentford, Everton all home. these matches, Everton, Everton away, yeah. Cup, there got to be a time where we can got to stop even, giving them that respect of saying, "Are oh, they in second game?" This is might be this, their this game. They're not getting that respect though. They have to assume, yeah. but to assume which is what I feel a lot of people okay. are doing. Assume that they're going to go on this 10 game run or it's something like that. It's not happening. I'm, I have to see evidence. It's not gonna Show happen. me right now what you're going to do because do the, team, the, the team that was here last year with Fernandinho, even behind the scenes, that kind of, you mm. know, uh, influence. Yeah, Zianchenko, Sterling, Jesus, you know, the way that the approach was Cancel. there to have the overlapping fullbacks, mm. etc., or to have the inverted fullback, Cancelo, etc. Et like the, the January window, they're weaker. Mm. So you're not playing good football. I'm watching you on board. I'm yawning. Mm. You're not having any shots. Harlan's chilling. No mm. shots, was it? Or no no touches in the box. Touches, yeah. Southampton, when he came on, De Bruyne and him came on as like the tag team, the duo, the Kane and the Undertaker. Mm. You think, all oh, right, Southampton, you're bottom of the league, you're in trouble now. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. No shots, no shots for Haaland. So I'm looking at them, I'm watching them each game and I'm thinking to myself, hmm, you guys don't look like you're actually built to last in this race. You don't seem like you're going to catch Arsenal. They mm. got Arsenal twice. Am I might expect them to beat them twice mm, or yeah. am I expecting them to, to actually maybe get one point even? They might, they might, Arsenal might come out at two games with four points. Even right. when they played Arsenal's B team, mm. what, what was going on? It, it was wasn't struggled. that deep. Yeah. They struggled. Yeah. And, they, and people thought, are they motivated because they're playing against these guys? No, it just, it's that, it's just City at this point. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's crazy to think that people, you got to think about the levels that City hit. Yeah? yeah. Bro, they literally won 18 games in a row. Exactly. Bro, they're not. We got this, 18 games left of the season. Like. Yeah, we got. So, all right. So, we're, we're, we're basically expecting the city to win every game from now to the end of the season to so maintain that. It's not going to happen. Like, people are talking about this mad form that they're going to go on and stuff. This team are not capable of that, in my opinion. Now, does that mean they can't win the league? They can potentially win the league. Arsenal will have to bottle it, in my opinion, for them to not win it because I think Arsenal are the better team. Mm. But. It doesn't mean that it's going to come through it's not given, 10, yeah. 11, 13 game win streak in yeah. a row anymore. And now. it's the human it. side of it as well, because it's like after you win four Premier Leagues out of five, where's the motivation? Mm. Where's the. Because Champions League, we know where the motivation but is coming that, from is, pain. Is that not mm. what. I feel like that's what Pep is almost doing this that's season. That's what he spoke about. Even the fans. Internally breaking it up. Yeah. In the sense of you guys were the guys that got me those four out of five. Yeah. Right. Sterling, Jesus, Zinchenko, off you go. Yeah. Cancelo, I know you were one of my. Arguably mm. his most clutch player last they were saying year. Best fullback in the league. Mm -hmm. And now it's like off you six go. months later, off you go mm. type of thing. So but I he did I feel change like he's it. almost trying to internally and and a lot of the times we don't see the method to the madness mm. till he's got to the point. Yeah. But I don't know. I feel like if it's almost like Fergie in that final year mm. where he was one with Nani, Welbeck and mm -hmm. them. And I feel like Pep could potentially go through that type of year. Yeah. If Pep wins the title mm. with this City team, I think it's one of the best coaching jobs personally, I don't. in my opinion. I, but, I, I would just think Arsenal are throwing it away because look, we first we're not even expecting Arsenal to be there in the first I'm, place. But no, nah, if you I, can, I think going, going if you into can turn the City team yeah. around. No, nah, this is what we're doing. No, 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 this is what we're doing. Now we're going on as if City have got scrubs. They're still favourites. They're still going on as if City have got scrubs. They've got KDB, they've got Haaland, they've got top they've got top players in here. Like we can't talk. We're giving him like now we're trying to boost his job. No, no mate, no, you should no, be getting no, it working no, no, with this no, team. No, I'm no, sorry. No. I'm mm. saying but this is the Your position first and they second find team is still better than now. most teams. So we can't turn around and that, say, oh, know. here we go. I don't know about that. Nah, one here anymore. we go. One well, thing I will say, you know. One, one thing I will say is <laughs> other than the difference with Klopp is Klopp didn't do nothing. Klopp mm. just stayed by That's what I'm saying. his soldiers. I prefer this method. Yeah, so what, I, I respect this method yeah. 100% because you do, we always talk about it, you have to shake the mm -hmm. apple cart. You have to get rid of some faces, get some fresh faces yeah. in, give that new motivation, that new life, etc., to go on and get another title. Hasn't worked out. Maybe he's tried to change too much. They haven't adapted to it. He can't mm. figure it out. Like you said, it's like Lilo and Stitch. He's just throwing the little mm. pebbles into the water and they're just exploding. You don't know what experiment <laughs> yeah, you're going to yeah, get yeah, next. Yeah. We don't know what we're watching right now. But I do respect the effort, the, 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 the length the that he's gone through. The attempt. But, uh, just but if he loses that, one title and then has to come back next year, mm. it's, it's not. Yeah, that's happens, what, I, happens but, but what I'm saying is, though, like, even the, we, we, with what you're saying, like, I get like getting rid of Cancelo and stuff. That could show, oh, you're ruling the club with an iron fist and stuff. But when your replacements are significantly worse than that player, Drop off, then yeah. it's a worry. And this is the thing people I've been saying to Liz off before. People think it's an agenda when I'm saying Akanji's, Ake's and stuff are, not, Gomez. are not levels. And people will be saying, oh, they had a sick game today. But what I'm saying is, Ake's sick game is nowhere near to the effect on what it does to Man City to what Cancelo's sick game looks yeah. like. If Cancelo's having a top game, Liverpool look... I mean, City look like a completely different team. If Ake is having a great game, for you individually, mate, you're having a good one. Mm -hmm. For the team, 
You're not, it's not really doing much for, to no, make the way you dropped that mate in no, there. Yeah, it's very disrespectful. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not doing anything. It was very disrespectful. Like, that is the same with Diaz and Akanji and stuff like Rico Lewis and Kyle Walker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So <laughs> when Ferguson made these kind of decisions, you know what I mean? All right, cool. Roy Keane is going to go out here or whoever. We're bringing in people. Of, what we say? Nicky Bob. No, 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 that's different. That's, that's, that was different time. <laughs> they don't that's like it. you when no. I play what the table on them. What what about, what? No, but what, no, but even John O'Shea and Rafa. Where's Bob? Don't worry about them. We ain't forget. Fergie made them man work. That was Fergie's just... bread and butter. Do you know what I'm trying to say? We don't step quality like how Manchester City do. Yeah, but what yeah. I'm saying is, when Fergie was time to give somebody the boot, he will replace them um, adequately. With, with or if not, and in the media, you will know why that happened. It'll be they had a falling out or he got kicked out, boot in his face, blah, blah. But Pep's, and it's like, oh no, he just wanted to go and play. We sent mm. him on loan. It's, it's all nice. And from the outside looking, I'm just like, what is this? Him and, Why are you being weird him and yeah. Cancelo yeah. kissing, yeah, kissing yeah, each yeah, other yeah, yeah, yeah. in the media. But you guys tried to leave each other. It's all weird to, yeah. what, to what, me, man. What I will say, Man City's redemption, not that I have any confidence in them doing this because they haven't done it when they've been at their peak, let alone mm. in, their, in, their, in their downs. But it, it, if you're going to let this league slip, you have to go and get your champs. You have to. You have to. Bro. You have to. It's the only way to save it. Was brought in for exactly it's the only way to save it here's the thing though we're, we're talking about all this experimenting but kdb got dropped today i want to touch on that just to wrap up this city bit as well what kind of message does that send out and is that kind of like the kind of shake up pep knees at this point you got uh, okay, you, right you, you you and and you said something yeah. in the game as well interesting but go on but i mean like look if you're gonna drop the player you have to get it right yeah that's the thing now whether we know if it's drop or they're probably going to say he had a little foot injury or whatever mm -hmm. happened. I don't know. But if you're going to make these decisions, it has to be right. The fact that you brought him on while you're losing and still lost, he can probably say, I wasn't even warm enough, blah, 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 blah. It's not a good... I don't think that's a good look, especially when you've kicked out Cancelo. You've done this... Type, trust me, these decisions are all good. Live and die by the decision if they go well. The reason why peak Jose is so different to older Jose is because... When peak Jose used to make a mad decision, he's it getting it right. Well, Matter, yeah. bye, I'm winning the Prem. This, this, this Jose, he'll do something. Rashford, you want to sit on the bench for that long? I'm, I'm going to play Ashley Young on the wing. Nah, mate, that ain't cutting it, buddy. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but that's the same thing at the moment. Like, Pep is making these decisions, but it's not actually helping City positively. Mm. So then that's when it starts to be, I'm not going to start saying, oh, he's going to be under his job, he's under threat or anything. No. But, but that is like, when it kind of starts to feel like especially Bernardo like, wants to leave. Mm -hmm. Starts to kind of feel this like this is what I was gonna say. You when it's just room, mate. When it's <laughs> the, <laughs> especially <laughs> that's what I'm. That's the where you at. Bro, that's the interesting <laughs> thing you said. You. <laughs> this is the thing: is you look at all the names. It's like Bernardo, KDB, Foden, um, Cancelo. Cancelo. These are like what you would say are the last two, three years the big guys in the dressing room. I've even After heard that Laporte era as well. of Fernandinho mm. or Joe Haas and Yaya Torres have all gone, they've almost taken over. And if you start losing it with them, who are the guys you can rely on? Mm. What, Rodri? That's mm. it. Mm. So, I don't know. It's, it's a funny one. What would you make of it? I know City have been talking about their net spend and all of that hype. Mm. CC cams. <laughs> CC. <laughs> but you're going to have to enter the market, it mm. seems. Now, you know, uh, oil brothers always stick together. I know mm. you guys don't seem to understand when I say that because you keep bashing our name because we spend and we spend. Mm. We're going to get into that. Yeah. But the market is there for you if you wish. If you want to replace some of these unhappy players <laughs> and dash a little 180 here and there, don't worry. I'll be there for you. Do you know what I mean? Don't, don't worry about it. I'll be there. Because that's Listen, what's going to have to happen. You, you, you got a fire sale in the summer as well, so you might be able to give them a little something, something. Who knows? 100%. But listen, we'll, we'll, we'll take the three points for that today. But listen, let's get into the Arsenal game because only seems right. Talking top of the table. Mm. Arsenal yesterday had the obviously early kickoff with Everton 1-0 wow. mm. with Sean Dyche's real... Man, <laughs> real <laughs> back in style. Listen, <laughs> so I'm bro, talking about, bro. bruv. Talk so real, real. What, what, <laughs> told man. What did you? Said, lo what did you? I said he's, key, he's getting Everton mid table, bro. Bro, what? he's getting Everton mid table, bro. bro. I'm telling you, he's gonna get them like 12. Really? Talk to me, <laughs> really, Talk what, to me. bro. Because I believe this, this is Sean Dyche. <laughs> See what, bro? I, he's the most disrespected manager, bro. Sean Dyche. I've said it numerous times. The man got Burnley, Burnley to Europe. Burnley Scenes. to Europe. Scenes. Bro, the guy is a is a I'm not gonna say he's a top manager like no. he's like Pepper or anything, but for that level, he's a fantastic manager. As soon as I was calling for him to get Everton job for ages. Mm. And as soon as he got the Everton job, I said he's gonna keep him up with ease. And it's gonna yeah. be with ease as well. Mm. I'm looking at I think it's Aston Villa, I've got like twenty four points or something or twenty eight points something. I think he's gonna catch 
that like little crop like Aston Villas and stuff. Yeah, I think yeah. it's around the 12th Palace, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm not even joking, 12th, 13th, wherever it is. There's the a guy, six point gap between 14th and 20th. There we go. It could yeah, easily yeah. change so quickly. And the guy, look, he went against Arsenal, done the basics, run hard. He did the bleep test of them. I love he that. Banned in the v. Did you see it? He banned in the v. Yeah, he banned yeah. snoods. He he done yeah the, the V shaped thing that he does at Burnley. Yeah. And listen, he does the basics, but the basics is what keeps you in the Premier League. And one thing that I hate is that in this era now, everyone has to play the same. Yeah. I just saw Aston Villa. Um, 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 Emmy Martinez yeah. passing it in the box to Kamara. to Kamara. Get the hell off the ball, bro. bro. <laughs> bro. So why are these every team wants to play like this? Like, yeah. and this is why we see so many goals going in this era and stuff, bro. Sometimes contrasting styles are fine, but you get run out of the league if you have a contrasting style nowadays. Yeah. But sure, Everton made the right appointment. I saw they were trying to get Bielsa. When they when I saw that, I said, "You're going down." Yeah, as soon as like, they are blessing the skies that they got Sean Dyche, he's yeah. going to keep them up, and we'll see how so they long need he to keeps the job. And but he rattled Arsenal. Let's not get know, twisted, bro. Sorry, bro? they were better than Arsenal yesterday. Yeah, bro, they were more threatening. Mm. They got onto their star man. He, they ran. Oh no, 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 was nice. Who? Oh no, no, ran party off the pitch. Oh no, bro, this is what I'm saying. See that twelve in the midfield? I saw it. It was crazy. And and what you touched on there as well is like I feel like it's. In the Premier League, you've always got to have one ugly I team. I say two. two I feel or, one yeah, or two yeah, one ugly teams. I feel like this year was the first year where all 20 teams was wanted Brentford to play Brentford have given us moments. Mm. Brentford Long gave us moments. Newcastle gave us moments as well yeah. of solidity. But yeah. I just feel like Sean Dyche is going to bring that back. And yesterday was a prime example of that. I think first five or ten minutes you saw they were playing inverted wingers. Then he said, mm -hmm. nah, nah, nah. Let me go back. Hey, it won't be right wing. <laughs> McNeil left wing <laughs> byline and whip that and guess what now all of a sudden Calvert-Lewin has options mm. he has runners I said yo this mm. is old school back to basics mm -hmm. management and Arsenal for all the swashbuckling football we've been saying mm -hmm. they're playing it got nullified mm. oh, physically time. absolutely physically dominated Bro. yesterday Ever Everton were beating them to first to second pressing them the energy was like honestly it was like Russia in 2018 World Cup it was unbelievable these guys Your were all juice sets they were trouble. juice it's like they were Sean Dyche is in the room <laughs> they said you give Sean Dyche a BLM and it's a long day <laughs> no <laughs> that's what they said that's it's what they said bro that's what they oh no no that's what they said he's working with new tools no new tools he's oh working with you know when you know when you know when, <laughs> when I man. saw that midfield yeah <laughs> bro <laughs> you know when Spider-Man got that new suit you know when he got that new suit black suit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That's, that's Sean Dyche now bro he's like whoa oh. I didn't put that old one this, what's this this one now can do the box and the ice 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 yo and what they giving me on that? The core it? It's just a game. Hey, listen. Oh, yeah, they're worthy. eating now. Watch this. Worthy. Watch this PMP. It's I'm nice. about to run through the You know Grey league. plays for them still? Bro, when he... Who's <laughs> plays in them still? Grey, remember Grey? You bet. Oh, yeah. Grey, you bet. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. get a B on the left, ready to run chalk. Mm -hmm. Come on, brother. Wow. Ain't none of that Flair Di Maria stuff yeah. he was doing for the last... <laughs> and then he's got his set of arms who are going to head everything. Tarkovsky. <laughs> well, as soon as... Bro, Conor Cody. Seamus Coleman. Yeah. Yo, who's that? You know his life? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 He's got what he needs, Pick man. Do you know what the funny yeah. thing is? His first, <laughs> I think his first goal in his Burnley era was scored, was assisted by McNeil, scored by Tarkovsky. Really? Really? Same no, as same as Everton era. Can't Who was marking Tarkovsky? Because it was Odegaard. He had two Burnley spells. Oh, mm. Yeah, so the second one I'm talking about. Oh. Odegaard was marking him. I was like, what are you doing? Yeah, that, that was crazy. another crazy thing where I was just like, but let's talk on Arsenal mm. a little bit. Because what did you look... Was that just a... Sean Dyche new manager bounce mm. type of situation or is it wait, maybe the first Which crack of pressure where you kind of feel it? Saturday early kickoff mm. you know you've got to win obviously City dropped points today but do you, that, want, do you want the real me or the shameless me right now? Jorginho 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 Because I was going to bring What are we cooking? What are we cooking? Because that's what Yeah We took Modric We took that. Felix We gave hey, Jorginho What are we so cooking over here? It's so interesting You said it. Let's get shameless here yeah, Because Friday night Chelsea were playing yeah, and, I, and I saw Enzo Making his debut And I was like Yo Debut You know Premier League is 100 miles an hour As yeah. a new signing yeah. You shouldn't adapt to this Very quickly I saw the guy You know Scanning. Scanning the pitch. Scan 99 times. Picking out passes. <laughs> Arsenal fans got in my mentions and were like, scans? That's basic midfield stuff. Mm. What are you talking about? Then obviously their head huncho over here comes and goes, Jorginho does this stuff all the time. Yeah. No. The very next day. Bro, Jorginho. Who do you think is getting this as left, right and centre? Bro. Huh? 
Jotty, you got cooked when you came on. No, he did not, bro. <laughs> this, this is such an agenda, bro. Jorginho did not I'm get cooked. I'm going to see the video. I'll show you. Yo, you know the little hyphen <laughs> in the middle? Jorginho. Bro. <laughs> No, 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 hold on. I was looking at it, but he was not good. Bro, Jorginho was calm, bro. Don't say calm is a lie. You know our agenda. Give me a social story. Hold on, hold on. got a 6.5 for me. So wait, hold on. Enzo, Enzo, Enzo's debut was some amazing shabby scans. No, no, I just mentioned Enzo's debut because you don't go on to me about the scans. And I said, okay, I'm going to check Jorginho's scans tomorrow. The video that got dispossessed four times in 20 minutes. The video that you retweeted, I'll show you a Jorginho video as well, bro. Do you see what these cunt makers can do wonderful things? Yeah, like, like, bro, like Enzo's. On, I'm telling you, Enzo's. Come there, there on, should, man. Someone needs to make on Twitter a comp account mm. that shows oh, both players, mm. the good and the bad, in the same game and get those retweets <laughs> and, and mm. get it popping. And let's see who hey. people believe who performed what. Because I'm telling you, you could take Production. little moments from every player <laughs> and make it into a good comp. Mm. Leah's, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or you could take the bad stuff and put it into a comp. Mm. I'm yeah. telling you, you can, you can same no, game. You, really you can do it. You can do it. It's very misleading. I'm obviously overcooking it. I don't know. Yesterday, Look, Martinelli was absolutely terrible. He was locked up hey, by Shane's comment. Cup, Martinelli. Martinelli's been tired, he's very tired, tired lately. He's been uh, uh, he's <laughs> been poor lately. And if, in my opinion, I'll probably start Trossard. I think Trossard's probably better than him anyway. So I think Martinelli's These guys a, played every a game, good player. Yeah. But yeah. Trossard's a proven Premier League player as well. He's not no scrub. At the moment, it's not... What's this? Copyright strikes. You know, no, exactly. <laughs> it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> but what I would say is, I don't know. I don't think Arsenal were just clicking yesterday. I think and Kerti had a poor game. Say Saka was locked. But he had two people like doubling up on him every single time. Yeah. And you know what? The only teams that have really had any change of Arsenal, what Man United won, Everton won, Newcastle and Southampton. Yeah. All of them, except for <coughs> probably Man United, who were just mad in transition. They're very. They were. They they have athletic players, bro. That mm. can get in at them. Like Newcastle got mad P P M P. Yeah. Serve Everton and Southampton with all them young players. That man. Love you. They 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 were onto you. Do you mm. know what I'm trying to say? So it's that, that might be the way. Four one system as well. I find that might be the way to try and get at Arsenal. Obviously, we're having to nitpick because they haven't dropped too many points. Yeah. But overall, I just think it was one of them games where they caught life now with City dropping points. But it, is, it did feel a little bit like, hmm, is this what Arsenal are going to go and do? And look, Arsenal fans are celebrating at the moment. Like, yes, City dropped points. But the players in their head are the ones that are still thinking, OK, we lost that game to Everton. We need to be focused for Brentford because Brentford are flying. They're seventh yeah. in the Premier League. They went yeah. to the Etihad and won. Yeah. It's not easy. So celebrating City jump points is understandable. <coughs> yeah. But these Arsenal players are going to have to raise the level because they can't perform like that again and expect to beat Bre Brentford. So mm. it would start getting to squeaky bumps and they caught life, mm -hmm. but Got they can't have too many don't, of those again. Don't bear too much. Would you make of Saka superstar treatment he's getting? I feel like since the World Cup now, it almost every game, mm. teams are doubling up on him. Do you... That We've seen it before, isn't it? I remember when Hazard um, used to get that Hazard, Gareth mm -hmm. Bale. I remember even um, Andros Townsend at Once Tottenham when eight. he was wow. having eight. his eight. moment. Do eight. you remember that, that that six month spell? Ooh. Don't joke with that. Townsanity. Ala Madrid. <sighs> it was looking like for him as well. Townsanity, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was looking like he was gonna gonna be able to afford those flights yeah. to Turkey. I'm telling you, wow. I, it was unbelievable. Look at you. It's a low blow, man. Look at this nasty, isn't it? Come on, always the part of the phone. I like that. Let's see. Oh, that's that Ric Flair, bro. <laughs> that's that Ric Flair. No, this is part of part of the game for Saka. Mm. This is what this is what you've done. You've mm. created this yeah. situation for yourself. That goal against Manchester United, that celebration. Of course, we're going to double up mm. on you now. We have to. Yeah. We have no choice. So I think it's, it's it's part and parcel what comes with it. But I think when I look at Arsenal's players, this is why they needed those signings because the I looked at the how many games they've all played, and I looked at the games played in the Premier League, and I looked how many appearances, and it's the same does, thing. Does that, that worry you, every game. does that worry you a little bit though? where you kind of think, okay, if Saka is now getting a double up superstar treatment, mm. Martinelli, new deal, form is not really there. Mm. Let's just say second half of the season, it's not Jesus the same. Jesus is coming back maybe. Jesus is coming back just off form and injury and Ketia maybe isn't able to keep up. Now that whole front line, you've got trouble the entire way mm. across it. And it's one of those things where I know I'm just like, oh, it's only one game, we do mm. But before you know it, it's a problem. Yeah, yeah the thing is, I, mean? I would say they, there's no need to panic right now. Brentford is when you're going to learn. Look, their next two games are big because now they have to react against yep. Brentford Respond. and then obviously you've got Man City. Mm. So those are going to be two massive games. The only problem is now is that, which the good thing for them is if they do go and win these next two games, 
I think that's the league for them. Because if City won today, then it's like, even if you beat City, yeah, yeah kind of not, you City can still come back. Yep. But now, <laughs> 11 it's, points, if Arsenal maybe. don't win the next two, it's back to, for me, whoever wins that game at the, well, if, if City win that game, Emirates, they're obviously right back in it. But if, if Arsenal win that Emirates game, I think that's the league, bro. 11 There'll point gap. There'll always be 11 point yeah, gap. Yeah. City will have to start thinking about much. Man United. And, and, and City and, have the and, Champions League to contend yeah, with. Yeah, the last Europa League, they can maybe sack it off. Mm-hmm. It's too much. So I, don't, I wouldn't panic yet. I wouldn't start panicking. No, I know the fans don't. are panicking. I saw Joe Bayer crying and he's, he's talking about, oh, <laughs> I'm panicking, you know, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Really? Man start talking about Balogun and that. I'm like, bro, allow it, man. Is that the same league that Lacazette's doing up? Boy, it's uncomfortable, boy. It's uncomfortable. You're nasty for that. It's I uncomfortable. Like this with <laughs> hey, we're watching you, you know. I've seen this before. I've seen this before. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. But yeah, man, I think, doing a good job. I think it's, 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 it's early to start panicking for Arsenal. Yeah. Nah, fairs, fairs. Mm. All right, well, let's move away from the top of the table anyway and start drifting a little bit more further. Mm. Down. No further. Mm. No further. Where are you talking about? Where are you going? Relegation zone. Mm. Just above that. We're appeasing to the whole league now. Yeah, yeah man. That's, that's, that's I mean, this, this, is a, this is a bottom <laughs> half table clash at this point, in, in my honest opinion. Mm. But we had Wolverhampton 3, mm-hmm. Liverpool 0. Oh. Oh. I don't know if you guys caught that game when it was a 3 o'clock kickoff. Yeah. But wow, wow, wow. For all cases of it, the Metropolitan, I didn't see anything. Mm. I didn't like, see a thing. Bro. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure what obviously you lot did the Saturday football show. Mm. I'm not sure what you lot's takes on it. I haven't caught that yet. But bro, the reality is Liverpool are finished. <laughs> like, like let's let's stop. Like they're not doing no ten game win in no, a row. No. They ain't got the minerals for that. No. Liverpool are finished and I think they're now in a position where they need to start thinking about Klopp's future. Is it going to be a situation where Klopp is going to stay on? Because Klopp was one of these guys that in the media, he was bubbly. He was the life of the room. His big smile that Klopp has. Yep. The motivator. Everyone wants to get in behind him. <coughs> Come but reach. if you think about it, now he's lost that spark. His, his press conferences are pretty embarrassing now. They are. They're the disrespectful quotes. to yep. the journos as well. They're embarrassing. You know what I mean? They're speaking to him. I don't even know what just happened. Okay, bye. And he'll just walk away. He's not got that springing his step no more and neither of the players you can see it it doesn't they suit don't care him no, bro when you when you're there, they're out there it doesn't look like they care anymore see them they concede i saw when they conceded the first goal trent just looked at matip matip just looked and it's just like oh okay yeah i mean yeah you know, it's happening again yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you go and capitulate yeah one thing about this liverpool team that everyone was talking about was mentality mentality monsters sometimes yeah and we've seen it at all levels relegation level top of the table mid table you hit gold with a certain crop. He hit the absolute belly with that crop of Alisson Van Dijk. Peak Salah, peak yeah. Firmino, peak Mont. They created that. It was nice. Yep. But re- replacing that now, we're talking about the oldest team in the Premier League as well. Um, oldest average starting 11. <sighs> replacing that now, Klopp's contract ends in 2025. Yeah. He's going to have to build a young core. Liverpool fans say, if you think you're going to go and win the title next year because you splashed on some centre midfielders, some young centre midfielders and stuff. You don't think Bellingham's going to save them? No, it's not. Huh? It's, it's, bro, it's not going to happen. money for that? The this reality is, of it is not going to happen. You can't build a core. You're not going to be able to build a young core to transition this team with his contract ending in two years, which would go to about, what, 10 years? But he said Nearly he wanted nine, to stay years? there for 10 years, but then I was hearing rumours that he might walk. I think he'll, I think if he's going to go, he's going to walk. I think, I, think, he might walk. I think his time is limited, bro. I genuinely I, do you think, think they'll Klopp, sack him? I don't think they will. I don't know if they'll sack him, but I think Klopp's time is 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 limited. And yeah. look, and this, I'm going to say the similar thing to Pochettino, you're right? He hit the belly. I know he didn't win, but he hit the belly with that Deli Ali, Kane, Dembele, Ericsson. Yeah, that. Once that started fading, yep. It was like, oh, damn, this is getting <laughs> spooky. How am I going to reboot? Boom, they sacked him. Mm. We see it at lower levels, bro. Bournemouth with Eddie Howe. You're reaching some mad heights. Swansea, yeah. all these teams. Burnley. And then once with, that... With Leicester. 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 Leicester, Leicester, well. Leicester. Then once that crop start to go, they start getting relegated and all that stuff. Obviously, Liverpool will get relegated, but yeah. they went from this to this. This is what we're seeing. Yeah. This gold crop needs to be replaced. But can you trust Klopp to do that? He has not shown He's in his career it. so far yeah. that he is capable of capable of doing that when the gold crop of Lewandowski Rice and Gotze and all these what lot died at Dortmund what Tumbles. happened to my man mm. by now Liverpool are the same thing we can't sit here and say I know people are going to say seventh year okay that might be the coincidence that it's the seventh year yeah but the the, the not the thing that's not a coincidence and it's a norm is Klopp builds a first side 
and he cannot build a second side. Yeah. That's damn fact. So do you think he then <laughs> walks away before he even takes a chance to rebuild this? Because at the moment, the way he's acting seems like he's almost at which He's end. finished. But like, the, he's the, tired the, the way it. he's reacting to, I'm not just saying like the presses and things like that, but even his body language on mm -hmm. the touchline doesn't look the same. The, he, he's not suited to the downturn, right? He's mm -hmm. a happy-go-lucky, mm -hmm. you know, upbeat. Everybody, you know, mm -hmm, jeering mm -hmm. everybody up. He's the emotional, you know, mm -hmm. the, the crier, the hugger. That's him. So when it's going now badly, he gets, like you said, very salty, very mm -hmm. kind of, you know, bitter. bitter. Mm -hmm. Not very nice at all. He's kind of, it becomes very unlikable, but mm -hmm. it's fine. Everybody can have their moments, but I don't think it suits him. It suited mm -hmm. Jose. It mm -hmm. suits Ferguson. It doesn't suit him. This mm -hmm. is not him. Now, people have always said, is this the new Wenger? Now, I've always asked Liverpool fans because he's saying, you want, you want to keep him for 10 years, you know, this is Klopp. And I understand the loyalty. Yeah. He's done incredible things for your football club. But, with that recruitment team kind of looking a bit fugazi, mm -hmm. you know, Edwards is gone now. I'm mm. seeing Gakpo comes in. Where does Gakpo fit in? Mm. What What is this Gakpo talk mm. all about? Because when he Diaz comes back, Jota, well. Firmino is there, Salah, the right side, mm. I've only heard Doc, that young kid. I've not heard, and I've not seen him too mm -hmm. much, but the left side is overcrowded and you never, you took that money and you could have put it in midfield. Amrabat, mm -hmm. Onahi, even go for a World Cup, little 10 mm. million euros, something, just to give us some fresh life. I'm still seeing Fabinho mm -hmm. almost trying to get himself sent off on purpose because he doesn't want to be out there anymore. Mm -hmm. And I'm just looking at this Liverpool team and I'm thinking, you know your issue is in midfield, yet in January you've done nothing to touch it mm. because you're all relying on this Jude Bellingham, the promised land's going to mm. save you. If Jude Bellingham sees that you finish in ninth with no European football or eighth or whatever it is, and Man City come knocking on his door or Real Madrid come mm. knocking on his door, is it guaranteed? Is it set in yeah. stone that you're going to get you're, you're gambling a lot, especially on the shoulders of a 19-year-old. Exactly. We're talking as if he's 27 in his prime, just won the Ballon d'Or. And they you're don't have loads of money. You're talking about a 19-year-old. And the thing is, right, with what you're saying, one thing that I agree with as well is that Klopp, it doesn't seem that he steadies the ship. Like, no, you could have a bad season. Mean. Like, remember the season when they had the injuries? Yeah. Right? I know every... Loads of teams have injury. I think they were a bit milking that too yeah, much. Yeah, but yeah. every team has injury. It doesn't mean you have to take a season off. This is about to be sec Liverpool's second season. It's two times that Liverpool are in Klopp's time and basically taking a season off. Mm -hmm. People are basically saying they're going to make excuses for this one. But you can't handle it. Ten annual leave. Has Ferguson ever sat 10th? No, no. And that's we'll what I, that was actually going to be my next has question. Has Spurs even sat 10th? Bro, it's I annual was going to say, we still have 18 <laughs> games of the league season to go. And we talk about Chelsea and things like that. And you, you lot are not far re from each other from the table. But we no, still we're, say, we're buddies. Oh, no, no. Yeah, you're buddies <laughs> with Liverpool. But we still say, oh, you lot have all these new signings. You better get back in the top four race. Yeah. But yeah. with Liverpool, it's almost like, despite they having a world-class coach, despite spending no, but over they really 100... Think they, they thought they were going to get over 100, No, the front line yesterday was Mo Salah, the 500 mm. grand contract, the 100 million mm. striker, or Darwin Nunes, 60 million, whatever fluctuating price they want to put on it. And then Gakpo, who was a World Cup star uninspiring mm. you've got a youth kid in the academy mm. who's come through who's probably looking the best midfielder at the club at the moment yeah you've got two center backs who mm. what was it my man called them Sharmota one and Sharmota yeah. two <laughs> <laughs> ice spice mm. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, <we're actually. laughs> but they just can't do the basics at the moment and i'm sorry but i can't have this excuse of we're writing off the season yeah just because it's january and the world cup has skewed dates a little bit mm. people think we're further ahead than the season we are Bro, you still got 18 games to go. If you're a top class coach yeah. and these players are still got some ability in them, you should be able to get that out of them. Especially yeah. then, when, as you say, is someone who has built their name mm -hmm. of motivating, yeah. of being but, the, the but, guy, but, but the but man is, manager. Can we see that now? But this is what I was saying. Well, the same way when you say, you know, like with the tactical coaching, mm -hmm. coach is coach. That's what I'm saying. Manage. Can you manage? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, listen, we can't keep. That's why yesterday I tweeted, listen, you can't, we need a CM a way out of this one. Please coach, get the best out of these guys. But at the same time, accountability across the board is needed. Mm. <coughs> Trent, what the hell are you doing this season? Fabinho, <laughs> what the hell are you doing? People keep skating around it. Thiago, your impact is absolutely non-existent this season. Mm. You're meant to be one of the best midfielders in the world. KDB, Pogba, all these type of guys get mad scrutiny. Anyone around the, around the world get this type of scrutiny. Thiago seems to be allowed to Do be in this drowning midfield, the light, and because he does it like this and this and this, it's like, oh, no, no, don't worry. He's, he's fine. Like, the guy's old. He's even old himself. So, mm. and in Mo Salah, 
the influence, the inspiration. Where the hell are you? <laughs> so we're talking about a lot of players that need to take accountability. Yeah, that's blanket. true. Do you know what I mean? Let's take, let, let, let's be let's be honest. Like these are top lot, players. Klopp, Klopp is not getting the best out of them, and I think they're tired of hearing. This is why I'm saying I think they're tired of hearing his voice because if it was a, a situation where Salah's still performing, Trent and and the key core of that great group but then it's like a couple of the the, the, the dead guys are not mm. performing it's like oh this can be replaced this can be replaced if i was looking at liverpool right now blank piece of like i'm new to football mm -hmm. salah's one of the guys i'll be selling by the way mm. 100 trent is one of the guys i'll be selling by the way really Ooh. Ooh. i don't know about that one calma i'm i, Listen, I'm, I was with you with salah and trent calma Trent in the, this season i would if try you are new to if, trent, into trent, a midfielder. trent in this no no you're not getting what i'm saying I'm saying if I don't if I don't know the game yeah. and I'm oh, looking okay. to see okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. who's, who's the top player yeah, here. I hate Trent's not standing out as like, oh, yeah, oh this yeah. is I, I get what you're saying. This is yeah, meant yeah. to be one of the best right backs to ever play in gotcha, the league. You always gotcha. have to no, compensate. That's for what I'm saying. I'm not, yeah, saying yeah, yeah. I'm not selling Trent. You know I'm not selling yeah, Trent. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're just but saying if it was a blank canvas. If it was a blank canvas right now and I looked at it and I'm not too familiar with the Liverpool side and people said to me, Who would you be keeping? By the way, this is a team that finished second. Try and tell me. Which ones? Who are you keeping? The ones, ones that were inspiration. I'll be like, oh, maybe it was Harvey Elliott. Uh, maybe By it was Chetek. that guy there. Yeah. There's no way I'm saying it was Salah. There's yeah. no way I'm saying it was Fabinho. There's no way I'm saying it was Trent or Thiago and none of these guys. Is he too? Is Virgil, he too exactly. loyal though? Like a Wenger, he kind of doesn't. That's why I like it when you someone said that. is going to really go up against the board and say, okay, you need to get inside your pockets and give me the midfielder. I know I said in the summer I, I didn't that's... need one. I thought I'd Curtis Jones, but now I need mm -hmm. one. And 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 the loyalty with the players. Like, when are you going to accept that? Okay, James Milner is not not probably worth keeping around mm -hmm. any longer. I know those bleep tests are doing well, but I need you to actually be on the pitch. Chamberlain, like Cater. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You spent 40, 50 on these players and they're all injury-prone. And they're all injury-prone. The, 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 injury the names that you just mentioned, bench warmers, bro. Mm. Let's talk about their starters. This mm. is what I'm saying. We keep talking about their bench players. What for is me, that? Let's I, talk the about their starters. About, the reason why I talk about the bench... Saying? The reason why I talk about the bench is I look to the bench to see, first of all, can you, can you talk to the starters? Mm -hmm. If you can't talk to the starters and you're just strictly bench players, mm. then once those starters have started to, their motivations dropped off, mm. maybe a couple of titles have got away and now they're, yeah. they're searching for inspiration. I'm looking to the bench and I'm thinking, you guys still make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I mean, you cost a lot of money. Are you going to do something about mm. this? Are you going to kick these guys into gear? Can I take Cater and put him into this team and still get something? Can I take um, Chamberlain? And put, no, if I can't, mm. then of course my starters are going to start stinking because mm. they've missed out on titles. They've gone to 90 points. Lack now they see Arsenal. Now they see Arsenal just turned up on the block and taken City's mm -hmm. chain immediately when they've been fighting yeah. this chain for years and then on top of that your bench warmers are not even good enough to even come yeah. to the team as well but so my thing though as well like i think the the biggest concern for liverpool now is and the reason why i'm saying that like in terms of them thinking oh we're just going to come back next season we'll sign some center mids and we're going to be back mm -hmm. is that before you could have done that because let's keep it 100 lampard's chelsea okay two shall just come just come in and you know he was doing this thing in the cups mm -hmm. Spurs were with Jose or whatever it was. Nuno, Jose, Oli's United, Arteta's eighth. Everyone's getting their ducks in a row now. This team now, everyone now is like, oh, Arsenal, they're, look, they're ready. Man United, little horses. Chelsea, spending 600 million. <laughs> everyone is starting to come. So Ch it's not just anymore, oh, let's City are our rivals. We do our thing, we're coming back. Now it's like you have to knock Arsenal out of the way, you have to knock United out of the way, you've got to knock Chelsea that are going to come back. We know Chelsea are going to come back. Newcastle are now like, hold on, we're not going nowhere. Yeah. It's a much different league. So any Liverpool fan that just thinks that, sign a few CMs and it's just going to kick into gear, it's not. And the thing is, they reach, I keep saying, when you reach the top, Pinnacle. yeah, it's hard to go again, go again. Salah, you got your contract, he's done, deservedly, he done his thing, whatever. But how are you going to reinvent yourself and go again? Same with the Hendo, same with the Fabinho, same with the Van Dykes, all these type of names. You had these players at their peak. No matter what, Salah is not ever going to be peak Salah. No, yeah. He's never. Salah is never going to be peak Salah again. Mane, these type of guys, you hit the belly. It's hard to but replace, when you're man. When you're going through this, you need to have, you build it from the back, foundation. Ten Hag, Manchester United, he goes in there, Brentford, Man City said, all right, calma, no more, we're not mm -hmm. doing this no but more. But that's what we're he did initially. From the back. When he brought in Alisson and Van Dijk, that's what I felt like kicked but it if all you, off. Yeah, mm -hmm. but now, After bringing, you, you look at these centre-backs, they're all injury-prone. Mm -hmm. Matip, injury prone. Mm -hmm. Gomez, injury prone. Kanate, injury prone. Yeah. Van Dijk, susceptible to injuries yeah. ever since the big one. So he's not even going to get a regular partnership in there to yeah. hold it down. 
On top of that, you got Fabino, who I've never seen a drop off like mm-hmm. this in my life. This guy cannot. He cannot. Yeah. I don't deal think with, he's made the last two squads. He's no, been he honestly one of the worst players this season. Yeah. He, and, and, and last last season as well. The whole he's calendar terrible. year, he's awful. So mm-hmm. then you, you've got another player in there that's meant to be your rock. We know how important the sixth position is. Mm-hmm. Casemiro, Rodri, Party. Mm. We can go through it. Bruno Gomarias at Newcastle. If that's you don't have cool. that proper six in there. And you've got centre backs that are injury prone, and the chemistries and the mm. partnerships keep going up and down. It's, 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 yeah, it's going to be crazy. It's, it's, it's more, it's more than just we need a CM. I'm 100%. You that. I think, I think need to even Liverpool fans have accepted that, though. At the start of the season, I think it would have been more of that narrative of mm. we need a CM. Now I think they've realised. Listen, the the problems is bigger than recruitment. Mm-hmm. It's bigger than just a midfield problem. And it's bigger than we still Salah. trust it's that forward line as well. Nunes gap project. And that's the thing for me. There's a crop signings. Do we still trust me about Pep Linders? The biggest question. Crop signings. You got the book. The thing I would want to know with Liverpool fans is what do they want next? Do they want to stick with Klopp? Do they want to? start afresh with it with a different vision do they mm. think the players like i want liverpool fans to actually let us know in mm. the comments what you lot think and wh- how do you move forward this summer do you address the front line do you address the midfield it's mm. it's too easy to just say one thing so even if you break it down three four points whatever well, the thing is, as well, the though, at the same time though, everyone's saying the wenger thing which i understand but I actually like think even that's a great... Even, but fresh ideas. Man, people should give a bit of respect to Wenger so at Wenger, the same time, though, because... Wenger bro, used to Wenger, actually get rid of his guys when he... That's no, what I'm saying. He was selling them. Like, no, but I'm talking about the Emirates days. Yeah, I feel like yeah, he was selling yeah. them because he kind of had to yeah, financially, yeah, right? Yeah. Whereas Klopp is... But, no. Yeah, no, Van yeah, Persie, Emirates, still paying off Nasri, the Emirates. like everybody. But the reason why I say that is because I feel like... They will always be loyal to the people that kind yeah, of yeah. fed them first. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So he's loyal to his board. Like Wenger mm. never called out the Cronkies ever. Mm. He was always the face of it. He took all the heat. Yeah. And I feel like Klopp would do very similar. Got to remember F- that. I feel like yeah. he'd do FSG similar. I, yeah, I hear that. But it's just that like Wenger won three Premier Leagues, man. You know what I mean? Mm. He got that team from 98, completely different team to the team that won in 2004. You know what I mean? So you look at that cycle, that was a completely different team, but he still won with them. You know what I mean? He was still winning. So he actually created so two different teams. He created actually, two different yeah. teams and he won with those teams. So everyone just saying clop, clop, clop. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, yo, he's getting, invent, thro- yeah. he's getting thrown on the bus uh, a little you bit. Know here. What, you know what I mean? You know what? Fair yeah, play. Exactly. That's six years in the air. You know what I'm He did try and, he actually did build a good third phase team with the Fabry guys and these guys. And they just... I'm sorry, they just came oh, up against yeah. Cristiano, Rooney, Tevez. We were just OP. Yeah. Yeah. Chelsea came through. They were OP. Yeah. The third phase side that he built yeah. in 07 08, Arsenal should have won the league. They bottled it. We, we no, know 08, this. 08, but 09, they, I think it is. No, no that was Liverpool. Oh, that was Liverpool. Uh, okay. yeah, yeah, in 07 08, right, right, right. they should have won the yeah. league potentially, but we, we climbed up, we got it. They bottled it, maybe. But that crop of team that he built wasn't actually that bad. Like, mm. so. If Klopp can build a team as good as Arsenal's 07, 08 to 2010, 11, I'm waiting to see that before we start calling him Wenger, bro. <laughs> okay. Let's see if he can even Who build a team better. You know what? Uh, that's, bro, that's a good bit like, of I don't know there. what he is, man. I'll think about him. Alan Kirbishley or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Kenny oh, Dalton, Rafa, Rafa, Rafa Benitez, isn't it? Rafa Benitez, man. Mm. 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 Hey, Spicy. Hey, 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 just, hey. He just won the league, man. Don't, don't forget, Benitez won the FA Cup. Benitez won the Champions League. Benitez competed for the title. Yeah. Hmm. Is he but very he Benitez-y? Mm. <laughs> You're bad, guys. You're... Benitez also got to multiple Champions League finals. <laughs> You're nasty. <laughs> You're nasty. <laughs> nasty. You're nasty. <laughs> Cut his wife. He's nasty. He's so bad. Right, listen, it's uncomfortable. Let's move so away bad. from Liverpool anyway. Um, it's, bad. it's only right we've got Matisse here, so it's only right we move on to Chelsea next. Mm. Brother, obviously, you lot drop. I think, West, safe to say, West London is white yeah, this, yeah. this season. Mm. I mean, yeah. what was that? Brentford, are, Brentford are there as well. Hey. Brentford and, and, and Fulham, both of them. What'd you say? <laughs> you said West London is white. <laughs> so, 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 multicultural. <laughs> but, <laughs> I didn't ask. Talk to me about your Chelsea boys, man, because after spending, what, 320 million in the windows, I think 600 million for the season, was that kind of what you expect to wear? It's like, hey, we ain't going to get this shit to I ain't never tallied that far in the game. Spend, you know? Don't I ain't worry, never tallied We the you know, we here got, Everybody always dashing new figures at me. 600 M's. 2,059. Five, five <laughs> this, this, that, third. I've never gone and accounted for it. I've never I've never added added it up. I've just never done it. I, I just don't. As the rich do. Yeah, it's just you know. it's just money at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? It's printed at this point. Um, nil nil against Fulham. It was meant to be W settings only. That's what it was meant to be. Yeah. Because for me... Yes, I get 
that there's new faces and it's going to take time. But there was only three new players in that starting eleven. Now, Badia Shile stepped in. He's improved from Kolobali tenfold. Mm. He's gone into that team three clean sheets Play in a row. Right. So he's not taking nothing from the team. He's punching the ball into the midfield. Mm -hmm. Left foot passes in between the lines, no Good problem, signing. right? We've got Enzo. Enzo comes in. Enhances the team. Long range passing, mm. finds Mason Mount across Enhances. the box for Kai. But I'm not trying to hear. I'm not Enhances. trying to hear. Hey, hold on. Hey, hold on. Hey, hold on. Hey, hey, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Enzo is high. Hold on. Enzo is a quality player, but you don't buy somebody for 106 million to play them as a register. No, mm. we do that for Pogba. Yeah, you do. You do. No, because he's not, a, he's not a DM. He's not a register. He should be playing in the eight. He should be playing this where Mason Mount well. and Gallagher was. Why am I watching Enzo mm. with the ball, receiving it? I don't know about that. No, he should, he should be higher up. He should be higher up. He should be higher up. <laughs> so right? you think he's better off in the eight row and have like a yes. destroyer next to him? Basically. Yeah, destroyer. That's what he did with Benfica. Why what about Argentina though? Argentina were... Where everyone gassed him up. Where was he playing? Well, he was kind of playing amongst it. The mm. pool. McAllister was touching nah, him. Yeah. 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 Remember, don't nah. forget. I don't forget I this. Who and, and this. Hold hold on. were the ones that were doing the pressing. Enzo was hold sitting on. way more than them. But I feel on. like they were all the They were all like kind of horses. amongst it. They were Does all working. Like they think I didn't watch the World Cup. <laughs> and are we going to judge him off how many games he played at the World Cup? Five? Five starts? Or what should we judge him on? 30 Benfica. games in, in Benfica? We judge him off Benfica. Oh, here we Where go. Where you dominated you possession. You see? Dominated possession. Average possession is sitting around 60. We gotta watch those oh games. We gotta God, watch what happened in Portugal. Hey, he's done his whole Listen, <laughs> when it comes down to when it comes down to what he's doing at Benfica, he's playing next to a destroyer in a four-two-three-one. Now, I'm trying to say this: if you can shoot from range, if you can pass the final third, you can play that final pass. Then why am I seeing you in the deep positions? Chelsea's midfield is always backwards. The workhorses, the runners, the tacklers, the interceptors are always higher up, closer to the goal, and the ones that can actually pass and might have a little bit of an imagination are always yeah. deeper. Why are we doing this? It doesn't make any mm. sense. So. If you was at Man United, where would he be playing next to Casemiro? Mm -hmm. Ericsson role, license to move forward. Am I wrong? Yes. No, I'm not he wrong. He would be playing next to Casemiro because Casemiro is elite. That's yeah, because he's a DM. So that's yeah. what you need, right? But, but, he, but my yeah, thing is, is that he, had, he had a he's good game. He's not going to put Casemiro there. He, he, yeah, he, he had a good game, mm -hmm. but I, again, this, this over oh, insistence on... He had on, an okay game. He had a good, yeah, good game. Good is game. It, it, good game. What are you expecting from him? For... Uh, Premier League record breaking as well, and you know I mm -hmm. used to beat your boy with that mm -hmm. stick twenty four seven. That's poor Sancho. Poor Sancho. Hey yo, pause. is he back? He back from the <laughs> hour? Is he back? My bro, <laughs> is he back from the snowboard? Hey. Pause. <laughs> we had the whole episode about a pause. Is he back? Damn, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. So. What was I saying? Yeah, I, I lost my train of thought now. <laughs> <laughs> well, not that train. <laughs> oh, I'm leaving. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, this is the Tyrion. Yeah, you want to? You want to? You want to? Production. You want to? Oh my god! This guy lost him. Flipping, oh so, my, no. that was a crazy Enzo. one, you know. That was a crazy one. <laughs> Basically, uh, what he was saying is, Enzo, what do you expect from our British record transfer and Enzo Fernandez, mate? I'm expecting, <laughs> I'm, I'm expecting him to get on the ball, dictate tempo, create chances, um, also of course defend and come mm -hmm. back, which he will do. But I'm expecting him to be helping us with our creativity mm -hmm. issues. Now we actually created a few chances against against Fulham. Kai Havertz had a couple chances. Mm. Fafana had a chance. Mm -hmm. But the thing is for me is that because what I know we can't finish, which is like the least of my problems because I've yeah. seen us fail to create chances, fail to spot runs for Timo Werner, for Lukaku. Even though I don't rate these players too highly in terms of their footballing ability, in terms of first touch, not being clunky out of the pitch, etc. But they're making runs and you're not spotting them. So Enzo's that guy to, you give the ball to him, he's your creative hub, he's going to dictate tempo, he's going to get the ball. I don't know what Kovacic was there for. Kovacic is not as good a passer as Enzo. If you look mm. at Enzo, 10.5 per 90 in, mm. in the league. Look at his long range passing. You saw it against Fulham? Yeah. He's he ain't getting, he ain't getting no long like, range passing you seen off the like that Stamford You see, yeah, it's, it's tight, 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 nothing tight going on there. Tight spaces. Let's tight. see, I want to see hey. short, short passes, Enzo. I don't <laughs> care about your long passes. At Stamford Bridge, I need short, sharp, quick You're passes. saying the pitch is too short? Yeah, too small. Do you know what's so funny? Can you dance the pitch, man? Into the shedding. Because you've got, Enzo, you got Enzo, who's a long range passer. It's going to go into Maze's box, mate. And Mudrick, who's Slipping a 400 metre sprinter. <laughs> and it's like, you've, you've put him that in the smallest stadium. No! 
I was meant to be a corporate, but I said, no, nah, I'm staying home. I'm staying home for a nil nil. No, I ain't. No, but I just feel like you've got two players there who are almost designed to play in big pitches of Enzo, mm-hmm. his, his range of passing, and Mudrick, the way he runs. Yeah. Do you think playing that Stamford Ridge is going to handicap them? If a the Ricketts bit? were here, they would have got rid of the table section and they would have spread out the pitch. <laughs> they would have. That's, that's, that's foul. They, they would have. No, they, they, they genuinely would have. That's what they did in America. They would. They actually did that. Hey, they they actually no that. inclusion, hey, boys. Well. No, 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 no. All right, but, okay, cool. With the Enzo, though, right, I already can see people are going to start trying to run the whole he's playing out of position thing. I, I don't know. I'm not really Pop for... Easy hat. Yeah, I'm not really I'm not really for that one, but we'll see. Mm. What about do you think about Mudrick, though? Because Mudrick, obviously, the gas, and I said it on this pod, I said he ain't done nothing I ain't seen Damari Gray do yet. And everyone was going crazy about his... <laughs> de- about his <laughs> debut. <laughs> everyone, was, everyone was going crazy about his debut. And I was like, bro, Damari Gray does his week in, week out. And all he did is miss two sitters. Like, well, let's calm down. The gas was too much. Everyone was like, oh my God, if he had went Arsenal, it was game over. Thank God he didn't go. <laughs> Only to then go drop that 45 minutes against Tete. Yeah, I'm telling you, in Ukraine, he ain't ever seen a brother called Tete. I'm telling you, he ain't ever seen a brother like Tete in that league <laughs> at is. right back. He probably yeah. has been. Yeah, the teammate. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did we get Fernandinho from? Where did we get William from? Where did we get all these guys from? Yeah, yeah. At Shakhtar. Huh? At Shakhtar. Huh? At Shakhtar. Huh? He, He's training with the weak Wait, listen. We out. At Shakhtar. What he, are you talking he about? He ain't come up against the Tete. I'm telling you, in this, in this Premier Look, League, they will match that's you. That's a better way to spin it. They will match you for pace and power. They will match you. And he didn't oh. have any space to operate. And Tete locked him up. All I saw was zero, 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 zero for everything about Modric. Chances created zero. The dribbles completed zero. Shots zero. A this zero goal zero, bro. I don't know what Mount, Mount was making runs behind him, trying to play as this like I don't know what he was doing. What and was it, Mount doing that game, bro? I don't know. I, I I don't know why he keeps playing him. He's under so much pressure right now. I can see mentally it's getting to him online. He's, he's going blocking, through that rest. He's blocking moment. people and whatnot. I'm not saying he needs to go to the Alps like Sancho, but yeah. take him out the team, put him on the bench, and let him just sit there. And let him marinate with him for a second. Let him watch and just enjoy the game. He doesn't need to be starting every single game. I know we got injuries, but Carney's right there. He, we, we got other players and it's not like we're winning anyway. Yeah. So can we take, he's, he's dropping stinkers. He's been poor this season. Mm. I'm not going to give up on the player. I've seen too many revived Rashford, wan mm. There's so many people getting revived right now like Fortnite. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to calm down with Mace. New contract, that's his business with the, with the agency and, and the club. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to figure those figures out because this whole like loyalty of last season and the year before player of the year, I get it. But this new ownership, they didn't see what Tuchel did with the Champions League. Yeah. They just saw right now. So what you're doing right now does not deserve 240 or 30 or whatever. So you're going to have to work that one mm-hmm. out. But take him out the team because at the moment, even when he plays in the eight, he's not playing like an eight. He yeah. doesn't want to come deep and receive the ball. He's like making these runs. Mm-hmm. And Mudrik is the one coming deep. I'm like, why? Again, backwards. It doesn't make any sense. So, but Potter's got to take all this. He's got to take I all of this. Say, what is Potter? your thing for Potter though? Because I said, <laughs> I said on my episode of FTO Culture, right? I said... um, He's giving me Oli vibes at the moment and people were crying about it. And then straight away yesterday after the Fulham game, I jump into Twitter spaces. What's everyone saying? He's a PE teacher. He's this, 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 this. Exactly what everyone's saying about Oli. And when I was saying this, because little things like that, like Mason Mount, if he's going to be struggling, then take him out of the firing line then. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Don't have some tight loyalty to someone that isn't even performing. And even with the decisions, like why is he at starting? Starting he was about to leave to PSG. He was about to leave. The guy was in Paris, ready to leave. Chelsea screwed him over. Crying. And then you started him against... um, You started him. Enzo, even. Listen, maybe because he was feeding into the hype of new transfers, he has to play. But Enzo had just landed, pretty much. He had just landed (laughs) and he started. So all these type of things, I'm thinking, like, we got to look at... I'm not, I'm we not see that midfield. We need Enzo start. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not trying to get into part too much, but I do think he needs to take responsibility. He needs to take some responsibility. And he's got to be doing better. Bro. I'm not seeing any of the build-up play that I saw at Brighton. Why am I seeing a back four with Enzo and then this big gap? Yeah, I call it yeah. the circle of safety. When mm. I see nobody in the middle trying to pick up the ball in tight areas to try and progress the play, I call that the circle of safety. When everybody's hugging near the touchline playing up front or waiting for the ball for the long ranger like we're doing Sam Allardyce that's when I call circular safety that's why mm-hmm. no one wants to be in, in, in the crowded spaces no one wants to be in the traffic everybody wants to be on the outside looking in and, then, and th- that's and then, where it is right and now and what you were getting was Gallagher and Mount sometimes just clogging up those spaces where you felt like well, you wanted players to get on the ball mm-hmm. and then uh, Gallagher, no, no, with, Gallagher all, with all due respect look I'm all <sighs> Gallagher 
Yeah, I listen. I'm not somebody that likes to kick people when they're down or whatever. He ain't down, bro. He's about man. to get a new contract, but apparently. <laughs> Gallagher, he's not good enough to play for Chelsea, man. To start week in, week out for Chelsea, I've said he's this. looking like... Look, I always like to liken things to Man United, right? To my team. He's looking like when I was looking at Dan James out there, when I look at Elanga, when I look at McTom. Even McTom, I think, offers more. I'm not even going to lie. When I look at Gallagher, I'm just looking at him and I'm like... One, you're not a good ball player. No. So when you're trying to get the ball from deep, it's actually pretty laughable. Yeah. Two, then you're trying to make this off the, the ball runs, but Chelsea don't actually play that type of football. It's not Crystal Palace. So I'm like, what is your actual role? And then people are trying to mold Work him into break. some, are you some the white Kante now? You ain't that good. You ain't, you're not the Kante that you, yeah, you have got intensity, but are Chelsea now going to mold him into like that's the white they, Kante? That's what they said that, he was going to be, the white Kante. I nah, said, you man. man are disrespecting Kante. Do you know how much of a good footballer Kante, Kante is? Kante will get... Are you mad? Kante will clamp Kante 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 you. Yeah. Kante will clamp you. And then skip past two, three people. Drive you up the play. pitch. All of a sudden, you've got, you're on a counter-attack. The disres- not like, I'm one of these people that wouldn't give Kante a new contract, but that's due to his um, fitness and the fact that he's not available. So you've got to either... And also, if it's a long term, then he's obviously... By the time he maybe gets back or resurrected, it's going to be too late. So, but as a footballer, to compare him yeah. in the slightest to Gallagher is a disrespect. He's nothing got, like, nothing everyone's like Everyone's got him. to find their home in it. Like, and it doesn't mean Gallagher's a terrible player. No. But he can go to a palace. You've got to always find your level, as they always say. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sambi Lokonga, where's he gone? He's gone to Arsenal. I mean, sorry, he's gone to Palace. palace on loan, Maybe yeah. go find your level for a yeah. little bit. These things can happen. So, but when I'm just looking at him, I'm just looking at Ra, bro. Like, bro, he's not good enough in the tight spaces, like, If man. Chelsea are really trying Jesus. to get top four and stuff, and you're starting week in, week out at Conor Gallagher, there was one counter-attack that Chelsea His first had, touch. And he was running with the ball. I was like, are you ever going to get this ball under control? Or <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, and then he ended time, up just yeah. having to pass it to Ziyech or something. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah. this is sad, man. Do you yeah, know what I mean? This is sad. Enough. So Chelsea, they got work to do, man. Mm. A lot of work. A lot of work. And listen, we'll, we'll move on from Chelsea anyway, because I feel like we could talk for hours, whether mm. it's the ownership, the manager, the players, the right, transfers. Though. You lot are the most watched team now. I think uh, all we're I would say is you actually just to wrap Michael up. Michael Carrick was live for the watch along. I can't lie. You are at, watching. Where are you watching finishing you. this mm. season? At, come end of the year, where are you finishing? Position wise, minimum it needs to be minimum sixth. Give me a number. Where you think, give me, where you give think? me Matisse's number. Nah. You're not getting top four. Six. I have to walk before we can run. I need. I need a win first. Mm. Mm. It needs to be sixth minimum. Yeah. Yeah. Not that Europa. I can, not that I care about Europa, but just purely for the fact of the amount of players we brought in. Mm. I know it's gonna be difficult to manage. You've been there twice. Players. I won it twice, isn't it? Yeah. Chelsea yeah. go there. They, they win it, man. Chelsea yeah. do this. It needs to be minimum sixth, man. Can't be finished by Fulham, Brentford, and Brighton. Yeah. Even Liverpool now. That has to be Fulham, Brentford, Brighton. Mm. Hey, hey, Mel what's, was spitting, boy. What's like? <laughs> mm, wherever she ate, free hey, Mel. I know it's the, the ghost of Mel. She's still out there. Uh, she's still out there. Yeah. She just, she's just not. The ghost of Mel, man. Yeah, yeah, man. <coughs> we'll move on from Chelsea anyway. And <laughs> it's crazy. The last it's but not least, of course, we'll go to the red side of Manchester. Hmm. Culture cams, bruv. <clears throat> Surely you, you don't need that much airtime on this one, no? No, not even. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, as usual, we, 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 we could probably nothing, just chuck this in. Uh, nothing, I mean, nothing. What is everybody talking about? Look at these haters. You see his, well, you see his production. Cool. Sabbath I mean, do you want to talk about okay. Casemiro? Look at these okay. haters. Sabbath's a debut. Fault. Calm little debut. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Calm little debut. You know, it's, it's, it's normal for us now, man. But I don't think this podcast has given Marcus Rashford enough respect. Really? You haven't done that on think No, we haven't, you know. I remember. This podcast haven't given him enough respect. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. You wouldn't think. You wouldn't think Manchester United are currently hold the most informed player in the Premier League. You hold wouldn't. On, hold no, on, from this hold podcast. on, really? hold on, nah, hold, hold, hold on. I'm starting to, what, I'm not missing something. No, no one doing it? No, no prop? No, I'm not. Let him cook. Because you know what, yeah? I used to <laughs> praise. I'm, I'm going to let him cook. Look, look, you know how I, I, I I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, I, everyone says I'm a Rashford guy, whatever, yeah? So obviously I praise Rashford, but I think these guys now, because, you know, they, they, what they want to do is be Rashford haters. That's what they were. Ah. So that now that Rash has respawned, ah. he had his moment last season where this buddy was saying, <laughs> you know what he was saying? What? Jose was right. Yeah. <laughs> Jose was right. He's always right about these United players. Mm. Jo- R- Rash was done. Yeah, he told you. <sighs> yeah, that's what he was singing this season. 10 goals since 2023. Can you please give him those props? <laughs> right. Give so anybody props. who watches Stop and Shine TV, you can go back maybe three weeks, four weeks. Me and Maze were sat right there. Give him his props. Waxing lyrical about Rashford saying, hey man, this season, you know, it's a real comeback season, isn't it? Yeah. You look at the amount of winners he's had. You look at the big games he's decided. I even looked at the game he played against us and I said, nah, you know what? This is the game where I'm like, Rashford's back this year. He's got a mission. Mr. Over here, Mr. Rashford ain't getting enough. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we calm down? I've seen these patches before with Martial and Rashford. 
one game at a time. Look at him making things up. That's one what I said about Luke Shaw. Look at him. He's no, using, he's, he's, did he, he's did he know what he's doing. He me and Mayo are. We gave Rashad our flowers, but Mr. Oh, let's be patient. One game at a time. Cam is a bit of a and stop and, trade and, off. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, no, hold now, on. The, now the stock is on the moon. Hold, like, like, hold I on. I've seen this from Cam. I remember when I bought stocks four years ago. Ever since that Ragnik book on Instagram, I've been studying Cam. I've been studying Cam. Oh, yeah, it, it. it was Leah's that guy, gassed me. It this guy is a the bit godfather of Gagan Press. Yeah, yeah. Leah's you. Yeah. The godfather of Gagan yeah. Press. Yeah. He gassed me, man. Okay, so we're going to talk to you later. Like, is that video still up on YouTube? What? Of my <laughs> the, one? The Rannick. Uh, no, probably, probably. I don't know right. that issue, no one. Cams. Cams is a bit of a stock trader. Cams will put in a couple little stocks here, couple little stocks there, one game at a time. You know, calma, calma. Do you know what I'm saying? When Maynard right is doing poorly, I don't see him. I see him with Harry Panero. Go and play. Look at it. <laughs> go to the, go in, go in the outside. Only. Lifestyle boys. They're hating, boys. On, they're hating on the lifestyle. I, I love the lifestyle. But Aye. when you're a team in the trenches, I never hear you. I see Instagram stories. Mm. I don't see it. I don't see yeah, it. Hear me. But then <laughs> West Bay and I. They say you are a West Ham fan. What are you wearing right now? I don't even look like Bob Marley, bro. Hey, you know, Daily paper, big up yourself. Daily paper. Lifestyle. Why are they hating on the lifestyle? When Man United are doing well, when the players are back. I see, I see him back at the top of the food chain. I see him at the top of the pyramid talking to his 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 crew. In his Twitter comments, I've never seen such allegiance. It's like an army. This, They're all just, just throwing an emoji like this. You. I'm, I'm here, never I'm seen here, to, I'm like here that. to dispel Stands. that. I'm here to dispel that. Anyway, I'm gonna call no, him. No, 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 no. Who's not a believer? He, 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 he ain't culture cams. He's culture stands. Look at him. Culture stands. Not culture stands. Culture stands. That's a new culture stands. That's what you want. Culture stands. That's what you want. Own it. Own it. Oh, my it. days. Own it. Listen, what did I tell you though, at the start of the season? What did you tell us? One game at a time? No, 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 no. When one game at a time developed, what did I tell you at the start of the season? What did we start by calling this Manchester United team? What was it? The dream. Team. No. <laughs> the Rick. Oh, oh, that was it. That was it. The redeem team. Right. So you guys cannot say I was not here from the jump. I yeah, told yeah, yeah. you what You were saying happen. Ten Hag was redeeming. You no. didn't believe Rashford. Look what he said. Look at it. You didn't believe. He's trying to put words in my you mouth. You did not believe. I told man. You did not believe. Now listen. This is Tesco vouchers, man. The redeem team. He's gonna. I said seven. He has to touch seven players and make them better. So far, he's doing what he's doing. Rashford's been part of that. I said, Rashford, you're at the crossroads. You have to bang under mm. Ten Hag or it's going to be over for you. Okay. Ten Hag's put his hand on him, made him the most informed player in Europe. And that's what my gaffer does. This is what... <laughs> hey, listen. Listen. Why do you think I call it the redeem team? you got to listen to the words because you need to redeem Redeem yourself. Oh, oh, oh. You need to redeem yourself. Hey. And what's Rashford doing? Redeem Redemption. <laughs> That's all I need to know. Redemption, bro. Rashford. Yeah. There we go. Is there Redemption enough space on Rashford. Twitter? You have enough. that at on Twitter. Is that too many characters? Fair Redemption. Enough. There we go, Rashford. man. Redeem. I don't listen. I'm comfortable now. I feel good. I'm used to winning games. We got Leeds next. Can I say that second goal has to get his flowers? Rashford's goal is it? No, um, not even. Not this, is, this is 10 10 ball. It's not even for Rashford goal. Wow, it was man. the build up to Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The whole goal. Oh, this triangles is... on the left. Oh, let's go to the right. Ganache. Triangles over here. Oh. oh, let's bring it back here. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got something for you in the box as well. <laughs> this is 10 10 ball. Where, where yeah. did they learn this? It's <laughs> from the Ajax Academy there. Yeah. Ever, ever. Ten, ten. <laughs> Meanwhile, the actual Ajax manager was sacked and they're dwindling in what, fourth or fifth? I thought it was easy. It's not easy. Squash head 10 hug. Come on, man. That, Listen, even, he was never going to make it. All the rivals drop points. Very good weekend for Manchester United. I can't really complain. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I can't complain. As I said, I got a little, little something. Oh. Show. <laughs> this is what. This is what we are. <laughs> this is what we are. The little horse. We're just a little horse. You are a. Sick. You know what I mean? There's two horses. Man brought milk from his house in the Man's fridge. In my house. Man's 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 in my house. <laughs> There's two horses in the title race. And We're just a little, little horse. And sometimes, you know, with the little horse, mm. 
you just got to give them milk. Yes. You just got to feed them. Mm-hmm. You just got to nurture them. Make sure they're eating their grass. Yeah. yeah. That's what we are. Yeah. So everyone talking about Manchester United are in the title race. <coughs> no, we still need this. We still need calcium. <laughs> we still need, we're not involved. We're just one game at a time. We're taking it bit by bit. And next season, we're going to talk soon. When I bring that Harry Kane and we start talking, all right, cool. But this season, just one game. From this listen, episode. You just let me run the Kane campaign because whenever you run it, it falls by no, the way. No, it's true. I've seen him run it before. I've seen him run it before. It was like, worry you know, I told him it was going to crash you know when, when he presidents go and they go on tour. And you just and, know. And you just know they ain't getting them. Bernie Sanders. Listen, just before. I told Fuad about Tottenham every single year and I've never been wrong. So I've got two names that we take from this episode. Five years ago, he's still living. Two out. names. <laughs> you got culture. You got culture stands, and now you got calcium cams. <laughs> calcium cams. Look at this. Calcium light. cams. I want you to remember uh, it. Like my, oh, my debut. Remember it. Calcium <laughs> cams. I want you spamming it in the comments. I calcium cams. He's still angry about me calling him Malcolm X. <laughs> oh He's still angry about me calling him Malcolm X, man. <laughs> Malcolm X. Get, get get it, hey, hey, you know what I mean? The Malcolm X. Malcolm is killing X. me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, man, listen. Um, before we move off from United, actually, just want to get your thoughts again on obviously the boy Sancho came back midweek. Oh, great stuff. To a big reception as well. Listen. Hey. Oh geez, no, I never sold my stocks as well. It's but. good to see you back. Good to see you back. And I hope I hope whatever he's gone and done works for him. I see he's back on the socials. He said he's so happy to be back. Unfortunately, he couldn't play yeah. last game because of Casemiro's red card. But good to have him back. Um, and hopefully, man, he needs to we need him. At the end of the day, and hopefully yeah. we can get something close to the Dortmund one. Because talking about redeem, look at look at Rashford, look at even Martial when he plays is looking yep. pretty decent. There's some players, Varane last season, people mm, like okay, Dallo, there's Luke Shaw, much better. The Fred Wan Basaka, the redeem Wan Basaka. This word is not is not here for a joke. So Sancho. You're next in line. And you know what? The redemption I'm actually is happy due. for it. I think everybody's kind of happy if he's doing well. London boy, do you know what I'm saying? He's gone for it. I don't know, man. People are jealous of him, man. Nah, man. Mm-hmm. Listen, I, I, I sense the jealousy in his hate. Two but, months but, but, I, sense, I sense the jealousy in his hate, in, 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 in his thing, man. You see, you see with Sancho, I've had my criticism of Sancho. Mm. But the over hate he gets, I sense the jealousy. He's got to play, because obviously Rashford's got the left hand side on, on lock. Mm. That 10, no, 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 10 no, no, to no. right. Rashford with needs Bruno. to go in the middle, because you cannot go hunting with that. With Weghorst? You can't go hunting with that, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've had my comments on Red Horse, bro. <laughs> Listen, well, You've left your statement. Bro, the minute he got off the pitch, we improved. It, bro, I don't... I, I would never be behind a signing like that, but everyone would talk about, you know, the the situation that we were in. Fair enough, but again... You're not feeling it. It's, I'm looking at him like how you're probably looking at Conor Gallagher, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, it's it's laughable that Red Horse plays with, for Manchester yeah, United. Yeah, yeah. It's meant to be a plan B at best. Yeah. So Sancho falls Thanks, Martial. Sancho no, no, like, no, no, no. I'd play Rashford in the middle, Sancho oh. on the left. Yeah, Do you want to move Rashford now the way he's moving, though? He's moving a bit mad. Well, Rashford mm. in the middle can Rashford still scored from the his... middle. Uh, That's where he yeah. started the season, okay. pretty okay. much. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then lastly, <sighs> Carabao Cup. Talk to me. Because you've got Oof. Newcastle. Seems like you two are the two teams, obviously top four racing, but mm-hmm. the two stories, I would say, this season. Man, obviously, not. you lot's redemption. Mm. And then them obviously come stepping into the big time. It's, yeah. It seems like the right final. You, you think you're going to take it? It's going to be a tough game, man. It's going to be a tough game. Newcastle haven't been to a final in a long time. Big this is our first time in a final since you no, know, in the Wembley final for a long time as well. In 2018, yeah. we lost to Chelsea. FA Cup, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, Hazard. So it's been a long time since we've been there. So this is yeah. massive. And look, at the end of the day, people can talk about Carabao Cup or whatever, but going to Wembley and winning, it installs a mentality, man. You know what I mean? Wembley is Wembley, regardless mm-hmm. of what cup you're in when you get to Wembley it's a big game yeah. yep. nobody's going to be on oh, it's just a cup I'm not going to run that hard today it's a massive massive game so we want to win that man we want to get 10 hogs era off to a, a trophy start same way Arteta got his one off to Tuchel Jose I don't know if Pep did I don't think Pep did how many years but, has it been yeah, Pep since did as well. four huh? years who for four years since your last trophy, isn't it? We won six years. Six years. We ain't won I since think the European same gap for Ajax before Ten Hag came as well. Really? Yeah. The there we go. Final. There we stars. go. And I think, listen, I think we're gonna do it, man. Like Newcastle are a good opposition, but we have more quality than them, man. Like I saw them against West Ham as well. They were getting caused problems. Mm. We'll score I think game. it's gonna come. I, I still one. think there's gonna come a point where Newcastle's bubble might burst. Who knows? They could be after I've, they beat us. Who knows? Yeah. But I think. I think we're going to do it, in man. I weird... think we're just going to do it, man. We're, our mentality this season is different, man. I feel... You didn't I, mentality I, monsters. 
No, no, no. We don't claim that one. That was weak. We give it to them boy there, I was just trying to see. I was going to say is I feel like Newcastle, almost their whole season could be gearing up for this. Because with this, they not only get the silverware, they and the not only League. get the Europa League as well, which in essence is a top six finish. Mm. Yep. But then I think we've seen as well previously when teams win that kind of cup, the rest of the season just kind of falls yeah, off or crash. whatever. They kind of crash out. And I'm looking at them Did thinking... They, know what? they want that Champions League for They me. want that Champions League as well. But is that Champions League almost not them jumping ahead of their Very yeah, schedule. I feel Extremely. like this here now is almost like, all right, big boys, we've arrived. Our first show. That's why a I think... You look like really have to take the series. I know you're saying like you're be better tough. than them quality wise. Mm. It's gonna be tough. But it's gotta be a thing where on the day, hundred percent. Can I say have to deliver. New when, when with them Geordies? That's, 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 that's what I was gonna say. Wembley's gonna, gonna be, be mad. mad. The United away lot, yeah, yeah. like or the United lot and Newcastle, Newcastle? is gonna be, that Wembley is gonna be mad, mad. bro. Newcastle gonna be able to the hear final. It. I'm opening my window for West London. I'm gonna hear it. Let's see. I should be able to me, man. It's true. It's true. But yeah, now honestly, it's gonna be a massive game, and I'm looking forward to it though, man. I'm happy. To just be there, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. what you want to do. Take off these targets and let's see what you happens. To man. To FA game? Cup is looking you decent as well. We you, say you're gonna go to the game. You think you got? Let's see. I hope. Yeah, hopefully, man. man. They need to get. They need to get me out here, man. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Cup as well. There's a few obviously big teams knocked out of that as well. So there's multiple chances for multiple trophies. We're in a good moment. Well. Yeah, we're in a good moment. But we got a big couple weeks coming up. Yep. Leeds back to back. Barcelona, Leicester. Are you confident for Barcelona? Actually, are you confident for Barcelona? It's tough, man. It's that still, one's tough. Still, tough. Still a week or two I can't wait yeah. for that. That game. one is so hard to predict because Their Barcelona right now, are solid, bro. You oh, know wow. what I mean? <laughs> They're solid. <laughs> it's a tough one. I think we can beat them at Old Trafford. Mm. It's just about what are we going to do at the at the Camp Nou? Yep. Go and get a respectable result yep. in the Camp Nou, then I'm confident. I feel like this is what you want, though, isn't it? Big game. This is a Champions League game, really. But, bro, when that came. I was one of the people on Twitter not complaining. Yeah. <clears throat> it's the Europa League at the end of the day. I don't want to be playing against Victoria Plazan and that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, let love me, bro. I want to play against the big team. Yeah, you know, if I'm going to be here, then give us. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> don't miss just work my time. Yeah, you know what I mean? like, yeah, listen, yeah, yeah. I want Victoria top Plazan. four. I want top four anyway. I don't want sixth in the Europa. Yeah. I want top four. So, if we don't get it, we're going to get Champions League one way. I've won the Europa League before. I mean, yeah. I've won Champions True. League. And you've got trophies, other, other opportunities. It, there we go, yeah. man. There we go. So, I'm looking forward to Barcelona coming on. It's a good opportunity to see where we are at, at Europe because if we want to be in Champions League next season, mm. are we not going to be coming up against these type of teams? We are. So let's see where we really are at European-wise, you know? Yeah, so 100%. I'm looking forward to it. Um, let's move on to Champs and Duds <coughs> to kind of wrap up the mm-hmm. show, to be fair. Um, where are you going? Champs. Champs and Duds. Champs and Duds. I think oh. Champs, I think, unanimously, I think we have to give it Everton. Yeah, Sean yeah, Dyche. Yeah, yeah. Sure, top of the table, yeah. Sean mm-hmm. Dyche, first game, yep. real men back in the Premier mm-hmm. League yep. and a real performance like that. I think Everton definitely have to get a shot. For me, a duds, do you know who I'm going for? Nathan Jones at Southampton. Oh, uh, yeah. Massive oh, howler. Oh, my God. The Massive way he howler. is, the, the stuff See, he's saying in press conferences, for yeah, yeah I saw. it's basically pandering to the players yeah. is why he's failing at his sacrifice job, is what he's, saying. Mm-hmm. he's sacrificing his own principles to cater to the players. And I'm like, but you're the manager. Mm. You've literally been brought in from the championship to prove yourself at this level. And you're showing yourself in broad day yeah. and telling the world, I'm not fit for this job. That's embarrassing. So for me, if anything I've seen where Southampton are doomed for relegation, there it is. Now right I'm looking there. at you now, isn't it? Yeah, no, nah, yeah, 100%. Bro, I, I agree that's with a, that's that. That's fair. That's I'm fair. Well, I, I, I'm actually going to give Dad to Arteta, you know? Really? And the reason mm. I'm going to do it, and the reason why I'm going to do it, is that people are going for our oh, first loss, dud? No, bro. He called he called Everton Burnley in his press conference, and I know that wasn't I know that was intentional. I know it. He said, "Oh yeah, Burnley had a good game." Blah blah blah. No, yeah, bro. did Burnley. he? Yes, bro. Whoa, he mm. said Burnley, bro. That's that's a, I know he's Arteta being a sour. Them, man. Yes. Yes. Hey, I'm is. thinking, bro. I'm Tito, man. Like, <laughs> hey, Lego heads. You know what I mean? You ain't you ain't won <laughs> much yet, man. That was unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he's talking like he's won three CLs and he's this, 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 like, calm down, you're that. in good form this season. Arsenal didn't really well, you're a good manager. <laughs> yeah. But don't start disrespecting other teams like that's that. Mad. Yeah. So that's, that's mad. Yeah. That's my thing. Nah, his, his, his energy's been very, him and Arsenal mm-hmm. fans' energy's been very funny. funny. Watch Champs, this season, I'm, I'm going to give Sancho for coming back, you know, as well. Yeah, that was well, what done. I was going to say. You know what yeah. I mean? That was any, nice. Any champs or duds you have this week? Any Anybody you think's worth. Oh, sorry, and my last dud. My last dud. 
is Gabriel Agbonga whore, bro? I swear he's been my dad before. Oh my god. Well, what do you do now? Sorry, what do you say now? Mass, this is this that's his brother, yeah. Why? That's his brother. Gabriel Bongo is his brother. But Talk sport friend. Bro, yeah, the guy yeah, said yeah, Casemiro talk, should talk. be arrested. I got one too, Darren Bed. <laughs> oh man, I want to talk about Casemiro. The guy, the guy said arrested. Casemiro arrested. Arrested. should be arrested for what he did to Will Hughes. <laughs> no, arrested. Casemiro's a dad though. Was, was yeah, Casemiro's yeah, 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 a dad? That. Can, what police should have come onto the pitch? Second angle. I know, it looked the shirts. I saw the shirts. But we can't appeal you know it, it as well because if, he, if the, we get the, the appeal the, wrong, no, no, no. I'm also given the suspension. Game, got, the suspension he got for the Arsenal game as well. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, the panic stupid, game. Stupid, stupid, stupid. unnecessary. No missed a huge game. Yeah, mm-hmm. cost the team the result. No the needs. And mm-hmm. then in this game, you were two 0 up. And yeah. I felt like again. you were jeopardized. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you're meant to be real men, but you're yeah. taking this real men to get a little too <laughs> no, far. He's meant to be a leader. He's trying to he's trying to show he's a general in this league. You know what I mean? But I think he's watching Roy Keane clips. Bro, I was watching Roy Keane clips. I'm watching Casemiro closely. You see that thing? you said about Enzo yeah oh he's a six but he should be an eight Casemiro is actually has six. walked into United <laughs> and said I'm a six I think I could be an eight you that know? might even be a ten, ten sometimes bro I'm, I'm watching his ego very carefully <laughs> Hey, he's won everything, it's man. The right. This right. is telling you. This is, you see the goals? This is where the chess comes yeah, to. The goals will do that to you. The goals will do that. You see that little, oh, see that little long they, ranger? Just like, right, right here, right it, here. I think it's five, is it four goals or five goals? Five goals. Yeah, five goals. yeah, right man, here. Inside it, just I'm whipped around in the cup. Hey, yeah, Casemiro's, Casemiro's, acting. Acting. Casemiro's acting different and I'm watching the energy change. This ain't nice. He's not with Modric and Kroos no more. He's next to the young boy. Yeah, he's next to McTominay and Fred. he's big dog. Yeah, he's big dog That's how you should act as a big dog. Fair, fair, fair. Big fair. Dog needs to be available, I just though. hope it leads to winning. Yeah, Big Dog needs hey, to be available. Hey, what's he leading to right now? Does Big Dog know who, right. who comes in when he's not there? Yeah, bro, listen. <laughs> no, we got some bits in now, man. We run with that one. Hey, you know what I mean? Like, that's <laughs> that's a nice pickup. Any champs and duds on your end? <sighs> champs has to be Everton and Sean Dyche. I say Sean Dyche, not Everton, because I feel like if that, if Sean Dyche wasn't there, that mm. would not have happened. Um, Dud, I think at this point, I have to say Chelsea. The yeah. Ziet situation. <laughs> Everything. Like, come on, man. No, no, at home to Fulham. I watched Fulham. They, they were okay. They were good. Yeah. Structurally organised. But come on, man. Let's, can we at least find a goal? Mm. Can we at least scrape a little win here? A little shithousery. When mm-hmm. you got Sterling coming onto the, off the bench, etc. You've got to be winning that game, man. Tim Ream. Hooray. What a performance. That's yeah. a yeah. champ. Performance. Anana. That's a champ. Anana. 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 There's been some good performances. Matoma yeah. scoring another winner. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Flip here now. So there's, there's been some big ones. Let Brighton, us... move, Brentford moving to... Well, they were sixth. Then moved to seventh. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Impressive. Let us know your champs and duds of the week in the comments duds as well. as well. Liverpool, by the way. Liverpool. Oh, yeah. How could I forget? Yeah. Liverpool is wow. a dud. Matip. Matip. I feel like they've been in there so many weeks. It's just like they live there now. I know, but the whole club, you can't get away with that. Yeah. Whole club. It's no, crazy. pure duddery, pure duddery. Well, listen, that is that, I guess, man. Listen, Matisse, as mm-hmm. always, man, we'll, we'll definitely have to get you back Turbulent for, episode, for, 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 for a live to come into. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> but no, we appreciate you obviously coming through and chopping it up with us. We'll definitely have to do this again sometime. Pleasure. Listen, people, make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe. Let us know your thoughts in the comments as well. We want to know your champs and duds of the week. We want to know your Liverpool section. We want to know what you think on Arsenal, Chelsea, everybody. Let us know. Mm-hmm. We will be back next week as per usual. FTBL, Fuad here, Culture Cams, Matisse, we are out. Peace!